My name is Cornelius Robinson Coffey. I was born in Newport, Arkansas. As a young man, I moved north to Chicago. I trained as an auto mechanic, but my vision was fixed higher. In the 1920s, they said black men couldn't be pilots. They said we couldn't understand the mechanics. My friend John C. Robinson and I, we set out to prove them wrong, bolt by bolt. We taught ourselves. We built our own airplane from a kit, a Heath parasol in a basement. We taught ourselves to fly it. We faced walls. The white flying clubs wouldn't have us. So in 1931, we founded our own. The Challenger Air Pilots Association. I earned my pilot's license. Then I pursued what few black men had. I earned my aircraft mechanics license. Number 1568. I was the first black American to be certified by the US government as both an aircraft and engine mechanic. Knowledge was the mission. In 1938, with my fellow instructor and partner, Willa Brown, we didn't just teach flying, we taught the science of flight, aerodynamics, engine repair, navigation. We set a standard of excellence that was unimpeachable. When the nation prepared for war, our school was ready. We became a primary feeder for the Tuskegee Pilot Training Program. We were the first stop. We screened them, we trained them, we gave them the mechanical and technical foundation they needed to survive and excel. Hundreds of black pilots and mechanics came through our hangars. I continued as a chief inspector for the Federal Aviation Administration for decades. I died in Chicago in 1994. My legacy is not a single daring flight. It is the infrastructure. I built the school, I wrote the curriculum, I certified the mechanics. I helped build the pipeline that turned ambition into achievement, that turned young men into the Tuskegee Airmen. I was the foundation. My name is Cornelius Coffey, and this is Black History X. My name is Willa Beatrice Brown, and I approve this message.